What's up everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax and I've got a mail day. It's not necessarily a mail day, it's more like a mail month and a half. Uh, these are some of the pickups that I've made over about the last month or two. I hadn't bought cards in a really long time. I've been so busy creating content uh, and really you know, doing a lot of the spreadsheet stuff and Patreon content that buying and selling kind of fell to the back burner. But um, I got the itch about two months ago. I decided that I wanted to do my first PSA sub and uh, that was a really lot of the reason for uh, buying to start buying again. I wanted to kind of learn, you know, how that worked because it was just an area I didn't know much about. And in the hobby, you know, it's a very popular area. And I just wanted to kind of learn. So I do have a submission uh, at PSA right now with 20 cards. And I'm not going to do that reveal later. But um, these are the cards that I have yet to submit or cards that I didn't quite think would gem. Um, but I don't really know what uh, gem mint condition is yet, like I said, because I haven't gotten my results back from my first sub. So I'm going to take you through what I've been buying over the last month and a half. And some of these guys are guys that I targeted and some were just I got uh, players I got really good deals on. And I think that's something that people um, tend to, you know, forget in the hobby is that it's not necessarily who you chase. Sometimes it's it's really good deals that you can find buying in bulk, you know, or buying players that don't have a whole lot of uh, popularity in the hobby. So some of these guys are guys that I've targeted and some of them are uh, guys that I've uh, just got really good deals on. So I'll start with uh, my first, probably these are my most recent pickups and I got this Brenner Cox really cheap. He's uh, He's got really good upside. He struck out quite a bit. He was a multi-sport athlete in high school, you know, and he's just kind of raw, but uh, I think I paid like 50 or 60 bucks for the True Blue Refractor. And I actually, this is the only card in this pile <laughs> I got to scan, you know, for my next PSA sub. And I think it's a pretty clean looking card. So that might go into my next submission. I got a Choice Blue uh, Drew Baker, Drew Baker uh, on a late night auction for like 25 bucks on uh, DCS sports cards. And it's a pretty good place to, um, to buy you can buy lots of cards there in bulk i think you can buy up to 40 at one time and it ships for like uh eight or nine dollars so uh he does really good job with um with combining shipping on all the cards you buy the hard thing is that they're all auctions so you don't know what you're going to win and what you aren't but uh drew baker's had a really good um showing in the lower minors so far he's older He's an older prospect and hasn't really played any experience in the upper minors. He played a couple of games in high this year, didn't really do too well. But uh, he can run, hit, hit for a little bit of power. And um, he could be a guy that, you know, takes off a little bit in 2023 for sure. I got uh, two Dalen Lyles. And his stuff, the main, the main reason I bought into Lyle was because of how cheap his stuff is. I got these two color refractors, I think, for like 30 bucks for, the, for both of them, 15 each. And um, he was injured, you know, the most uh, the most of 2022. He's only had like a 30 plate appearance sample size, but um, he's a pretty good left-handed bat. Uh, he's, I think he was the Kentucky High School Player of the Year, the Gatorade High School Player of the Year in Kentucky. I could have the wrong state, but uh, there's some upside with his left-handed bat, and I got those for really cheap. So I was excited to get some of those. Um, the next card I bought in the same lot, the Rain Doncon. Um, and I'm trying to really stay away from base autos just because uh, the demand for refractors and numbered autos is so much higher right now in the hobby. A lot of stuff that sells really flies off my eBay is all the numbered stuff, even just like 499 refractors and base just kind of sits still. But um, I got this, I think, for like 15 bucks as well within with the Dale and Lyle lot. So it was more of a, um, a cheap buy, but uh, Don Con's got some really big power. So he's a guy that could, uh, you know, do some damage in 2023. Uh, I got this next, the next pile of cards is all one lot that I got. And as I mentioned before, you know, if you can find, um, buy cards in bulk, you know, you may not get the guys you're necessarily chasing per se, but um, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on this lot. I think it was about a hundred, hundred bucks. And I got the uh, Jason Trio. I've got a ton of Jason Trio. He's probably... One of my main chase guys out of 2022, Bowman Chrome. I really like his K numbers. And obviously, you know, his brother Jackson, they come from a pretty gifted baseball family. So hopefully his uh, hopefully his, his approach at the plate can really help him with some production in 2023. Maybe his value will go up quite a bit because I'm sitting on a pretty big stack 
of Jason Trio. And he's one of the guys I'm really not excited to move quite yet that I think would maybe be like a one-year hold. Um, next is Rospin Verdugo, and he was on my 2022 Bowman Chrome Sleepers uh, video that I did. And uh, he's got some big power. He's got some strikeout issues. He's young, but um, a lot of upside for his price, I thought. And I got these really cheap and a lot. Next was uh, Nacho Alvarez. Um, he played one year of uh, Juco ball, and he was, uh, I think, 19. So he'll go into the season at the age of 20. Um, pretty much uh, a bat, more more of a bat than a glove. But um, there is some you know, speculation that he could play shortstop. But I think he's going to be like a third base type. And uh, his, his stuff's really cheap right now. But he had a huge year in Juco last year, age 19. Um, the next one I got in the same lot was a Chandler Simpson base, probably the best contact hitter out of the 2022 draft, but uh, his power is just insignificant. But I think there's a lot of upside. I think he'll be able to hit in a major league lineup one day. I don't see necessarily superstar, but um, I feel like he could have, be a very productive bat with his wheels also on the bases in the MLB. And I snagged the Dylan Lesko uh, refractor, just a, a one of the better pitchers out of the 2022 draft. And um, I threw it in, you know, on this lot and I got it for really cheap. And uh, it's a numbered auto. So like I said, those are in really high demand right now. So those are my recent pickups. And I'm gonna go to my next pile, which is uh, some of the stuff I picked up like over the last month. And um, I got a lot of these cards, uh, I think the majority of them were singles buys or lots, but they got really good prices on them, really good off-season prices. I think I got this PD Halpin for uh, like 35 or 45 bucks, um, Blue Refractor, True Blue. And he's got some upside. There's a lot of, um, I don't like I said, I don't see Superstar here, but I think there's a lot more uh, potential in his bat and defense than uh, his value shows right now. So that was a good pickup for me. Um, I got a Colt Keith refractor. I bought this about a month and a half ago and um, had some really, really, really faint uh, print lines on it. So I didn't send it with my sub, but uh, he's another big bat. If he could just stay healthy, I think that uh, his bat is very undervalued. It's not so much undervalued anymore because a lot of the book's kind of out on uh, Colt Keith. I've talked about him a lot on the channel. I think a lot of people are starting to see uh, what kind of offense he can produce, you know, when he's healthy. And here's just all my Jason Trios that I've accumulated um, over the last month. You know, I sold a refractor on eBay. And what I've been trying to do, you know, is really try to avoid longer term holds. You know, if I can buy something cheap, I list it on eBay, you know, maybe like $15 over what I bought it for. And if I can make like five bucks on each sale, I feel a lot more comfortable doing that, you know, making like $105 sales than spending a, a ton of money on a single card, you know, I'm just hoping that that single card goes up. So I've been trying to um, buy cheap cards, take, you know, and, and put up really good pictures with my scanner and just kind of really make the cards look nice. And um, it's been working out pretty well, but like I said, the refractors are flying off my eBay a lot quicker than the base. I got these three Dustin Harris in a lot, and I think I got them for like 40 bucks. And he's a guy that uh, is pretty undervalued. And he's going to probably end up in the outfield again um, this year. You know, he could be a guy we see at spring training and big league camp. And uh, just a guy that's got a pretty good left-handed bat. And I think for, you know, 10 or 15 bucks, I think there's a lot more in the tank for him, you know, upside-wise. So the Soderstrom card I actually bought about a year and a half ago. But I went through a lot of my, uh, my cards for my PSA sub. And this one, the centering was just a bit off top to bottom. You can kind of see how the bottoms, it's probably, you know, uh, maybe 60, 40 top to bottom. So I didn't think it would gem, but um, I have this card, big power bat. And a young kid played double A this year. I think he may even move to triple A for a couple of games. Uh, I got a Jonathan Classe, speed power guy. Uh, hits for some average, but he's a little older. He's like 20 years old, played an A ball. But um, there's a lot of potential there. I actually watched an Instagram video of him <laughs> beating a tire. Uh, it, was, it looked like it was in his backyard. And uh, there was a whole bunch of 
uh, Spanish being spoken. It, it reminded me of being in the clubhouse back in my playing days, but it was kind of neat just to see, you know, a guy that worked that hard that he would go just slam a tire for, for a half an hour. And um, that's one thing I kind of try to find out about prospects in the speculation process is, you know, their attitude and their work ethic and things like that. So I've got uh, I got a, these three Brian Ramos in a lot as well. Uh, I think he's got a lot of upside. There's a lot of people um, chasing Brian Ramos. I actually got a refractor, but I already sold that on eBay. And I think I made like five or ten bucks. Like I said, I just try to try to make a couple bucks on each card. And hopefully my PSA subs come back and um, I can at least make up for the price that I paid for the sub. I did the collector's club and um, I did the $19 card, the value. And I think it came to like 400 or 500 bucks for my first sub with the collector's club membership. So if I can get a couple of those cards to gym, I think I'll get that money back. And I also get to learn, you know, a little bit about the grading process itself. So I got these three Brian Ramos in a lot for pretty cheap. Um, I've got two Angel Martinez cards in here. I've got a pretty big stash of Martinez that I had bought up um, from one of the guys in my Facebook group, Ryan, I think two years ago. And um, he's kind of just, you know, teeter-totting on being really good and uh, just an average minor league player. He's got some tools. He can pick it. I just don't know if uh, the power is going to come out and uh, just how much production we're going to get out of him with the bat. But he's another cheap guy. Uh, I got the purple and the refractor, and I think they were it was under seventy-five dollars for these two cards. But he's pretty cheap. But his prices are starting to go up. I think a lot of people are are starting to see daylight with uh, Angel Martinez. Um, I bought three Tovar cards from a friend of mine um, about three or four weeks ago. I submitted uh, one. I submitted the bait one base, and I sold the refractor. Um, on eBay already because like I said the numbered cards are just flying uh, off of eBay right now while the base is kind of at a standstill so I'm really trying to stay away from base but if I can get pretty good deals on some of these cards um, I'll, I'll take them you know with other base or refractor so Tovar uh, had a little injury last year he got really really hot and he had a groin injury and uh, I think the hobby kind of forgot about him and how good he was in 2022 so I think he'll be a guy that it's definitely going to be a big league camp and probably be the guy at shortstop for Colorado this year. And hopefully he can he can uh, continue to do damage in the major leagues that he did in the minor leagues over the last two years. And my last um, card of this video, this came with a bunch of cards that I've already sold on eBay as well. I got with like a Kevin O'Connor and then O'Connor moves already. But um, as like I said, this is a another prospecting you know tip for you guys out there. I don't necessarily love Carson Williams, but he's got a lot of upside. And if you can find some of these guys super cheap that have a ton of upside, um, it's it's always a pretty good buy for me. And you know you may lose on some of them, but like I said, I bought all these in the off season. And things are starting to pick up. So don't always just chase prospects. Try to uh, try to find some deals out there. And that's the, the whole the whole hobby aspect is trying to uh, see if the guys you pick and, you know, the deals you find end up working out on your behalf. But that's going to wrap up uh, this mail day video. I'm going to try to do some more of these. And um, before I buy a ton of more cards, I'm trying to wait to see if my PSA sub, um, wait for that to come back. And uh, so I can learn and see, you know, I took some notes on the cards that I subbed and you know, some of the defects I may have found or why I think it may be a nine or a 10. So before I go buying a whole bunch more cards, I'm going to uh, see what I can learn from my first PSA sub. But um, thanks for watching. This is my uh, last two months mail. And if you guys have anyone you're chasing, just throw them in the comments. Or, you know, um, if you got, if you, if you are a person that actually chases players or you just chase the deals, it'd be fun to, uh, to know what you guys do as well. So y'all have a great night.